Hello friends, welcome to Joe's Simple Kitchen. Today we are going to make fluffy Indian style pancake with cardamom, saffron, cinnamon, everything. It's going to be golden brown and we'll start, we'll look at how we can make the fluffy pancake, Indian style pancake. So first we are going to make the uh, dry ingredients. So what he, on this pancake is going to use whole wheat atta flour. We can use all purpose flour, maida flour, but this is healthy, this is better. So we are using whole wheat atta flour, the chapati flour you use. We have one and a half cup of wheat flour. In that we are going to add <coughs> half a teaspoon of baking powder half a teaspoon of baking soda little bit salt very little <clears throat> it has some uh, rice inside that is to avoid moisture so if you have few rice in the shaker, it won't get moist and get it stuck. <coughs> and in, with that, we are going to add some cardamom. This is the Indian pancake. <coughs> Excuse me. We are going to add four cardamom and some saffron, cinnamon. So what we did is we already powdered the cardamom. So we are going to add that to our dry ingredient. like little bit of saffron and the cinnamon and we need to add some sugar to this we are adding two teaspoons of sugar you can add more maybe we can add one more this makes our dry ingredients ready So the dry ingredient is ready for our pancake. Now we are going to make the wet ingredient for mixing. So for that what we have is one medium sized egg, crack the egg, half a cup of milk, whole milk. like half a cup of oil. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, which doesn't have intense smell. So you add half a cup of vegetable oil and we need to add like two tablespoons of butter. Melted butter. So we melted two tablespoons of butter. We are adding that to this. you mix this you can add vanilla essence to this but we are making Indian pancake so we don't need it then you add some more water you can add a milk or water we are adding a little more <clears throat> depending upon the quantity of flour you use. Now you mix both. The batter should not be so thick, so we are adding little more milk. You mix the batter well, the consistency should be like this. You can add little water if required or milk. 
So once the batter is ready, heat the pan. We are using cast iron pan, which gives uniform heat and perfect for pancake. You can use any pan. Um, so to make pancake, take a stick of butter. The pan is hot, let it get a few minutes. Take the batter. Pour the batter in the middle of the pan. Don't make it even with your uh, spoon. Just let it flow so that you will get perfect shape. You don't need to cover this. It takes a minute or two to cook on each side. So leave it in medium heat and it takes a minute. You will see the, once it's cooked, you will notice the bubbles on the side. Then you can flip it. It's almost cooked. And you can add cashews, chopped cashews and uh, raisins on the top, which will make it even better. Now it's ready. We are going to flip it. It will take another one minute, 30 minutes, 30 seconds, and pancake is ready. It goes very well with uh, maple syrup or any sugar syrup. So maple syrup is better. So if you get pure maple syrup, it is good. It goes very well with that. So the pancake is ready to be served. So take the pancake and add a piece of butter, a like little bit of butter in the middle and serve with maple syrup. Here you go, healthy otta whole wheat flour pancake fluffy pancake it is fluffy inside